All right, guys. I've got a truckload of stuff to unbox here. I am um, pretty excited. I know what some of the stuff is, and some of the stuff I have no idea what it is. Some of the stuff I've ordered, some stuff was sent from people, some stuff was sent from a company. And I've got some really big news that, if you don't already know, I, it's something I've been working on for, or um, been talking to for a while, and it's finally come through. So I'm gonna share some of that with you too. And um, let's, let's start opening things up, all right? All right, first of all, I think this is something that I ordered. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. So, we have a first ever Creek Fishing Adventures hoodie, and here we go. That's a new little, uh, it's a logo that is, is you see on like um, government places for fishing. It's like, it's like, uh, it's, a, it's a sign that says fishing is allowed, basically. And um, it's a sign that's like, hey, you can fish here. That's, and that's like, and I got on the back, fish anywhere, fish everywhere. So we got these hoodies in. Um, I, it's part, we just got them designed. They're not super thick, they're pretty lightweight, and they feel really comfortable. I don't, I don't remember how much they are. I know they cost a little bit, but every hoodie, all hoodies cost a little bit, so. It's uh, it's about to get cold, and it's about to get winter time, so I'm pretty happy with that. It turned out, turned out I think, pretty good, so I'm liking that. It's just a little, you know, plug for myself, basically. Let's go, let's see. I ordered a couple other things from um, all my merchandise stuff you can get on Teespring. It's on teespring.com. And uh, here's the regular. Oh no, we got long sleeve t-shirts now. That's right. Let me try this thing on. Actually, the, the sleeves are pretty long, and I got long arms, so sleeves are pretty long. Fits pretty good. All right, so we got long sleeve t-shirts. We got hoodies now, and I think this is just a regular t-shirt. Yeah, this is just the regular Creek Fishing Adventures logo t-shirt. So all this stuff is down uh, below the video. There's a link to Teespring. It's all through. Uh, online company I just put the designs in there and, and they ship them out so but everything that gets sold I make um, it's from six to five to seven dollars um, on all like shirts and things and um, there's some stickers on there uh, I don't know why they haven't come in yet they may they, they should have came in so all right so first off CFA merch is available lots of different things so I just got back from a six day fishing trip and I went to the uh, post office and um, you know how if you go to the post office, they, they have, if there's a big package, they give you a key for a, another box. There was three keys in there, along with a couple other things. So there was three different packages that were shipped. And first one right here is a little thing from, uh, oh yeah, Roger, um, up in Kentucky. So uh, he sent me a little note and, oh yeah, this is cool. It's a, um, it's like a crick hopper, but it's the, uh, the Bass Pro one. Hi John, here's a modified crick hopper for you to try. I enjoy the videos very much. Thanks Roger, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, this looks, this and right now is the perfect time. The fall's coming, you know, this is the, just early September, and this is, all the grasshoppers are jumping everywhere, jumping out in the water. It's a great time to be using the grasshopper type lures. And yeah, that's gonna get used. Oh, oh yeah, and it's got the single hooks on it. So no treble hooks on it. It's got a single hook in the front, single hook in the back. Uh, that, that's gonna be cool to try. I have not tried one of those yet, and um, but whenever a fish does get hooked, it's so much easier to get it off. So, thanks very much, Roger. All right, here's a package from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Doesn't have the name on the package. Uh, that's not very far away. Okay. Wow, several things there. Let me read the note first. All right, this is awesome. This is from Brady, dude. He, he wrote me a whole page and a half. Uh, letter he, he gives me he sent me several lures to try and wants to do it wants me to hopefully do a video on a couple of them He uh, gave me suggestions for some places in Middle Tennessee to fish and um, th Dude that is awesome. Thank, thanks so much Brady. I uh, hope you get to watch this uh, You see this video and I hopefully I, I get to use some of your things. Yes. I, yeah, I got a lot of stuff in the mail But I try to use I try to get to use them and maybe try to make a video on them All right, I had to go get some uh, bug spray. <laughs> Those kids are killing me all right, so Brady sent me several lures, um, a bunch of little micro-looking lures. Look at these little things. Some really small. This one's a impulse mosquito larva. Uh, little little tadpole thing. Um, little big bites bait. What is that? I don't know what that is. These are just some like tiny, tiny little things. So um, they look really fun to fish with too. And you know, I like little little lures and things. So uh, I'm gonna put all that together. 
And um, these are here, mermaid jigs by Big T. And he also made a homemade popper. So we're gonna check this thing out. Oh, that is awesome. No way. Yeah, homemade. Check out this thing. Looks like some uh, Lego type things. It's got a hook on it. It's got a little pop. Man, I have to try that. I don't do a lot of top water fishing, but oh, I gotta try. I'm gonna try that out somewhere. I mean, that's perfect. It's got a little like a uh, little pop there. You got a place for your lure. I mean, for your line. It's got the line tied on. Yeah, that is awesome, Brady. Dude, you're the man. Thanks for all the little things. Thanks for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it back in here. Let me put it all together. That way I can keep up with all your stuff. And we'll hopefully be seeing that on a video. I got a lot of different videos planned, and so I'm, I don't know when, when they come about, but um, I got a lot of stuff that hopefully will be able to come out. Okay, let's move on to this box. Oh, I think I know this, what this is. We got some, oh, yeah, yeah. We got some saltwater fly line. Uh, fly line dressing. Leader line, saltwater, 16 pound leader line, a big old box of lures, saltwater lures. Yeah, this is from James. I already got something that I opened um, a week or so ago that I haven't showed you yet because I've been wanting to do a video on it. But I'll go ahead and tell you, it's a super nice fly rod, like a really high end reel and rod, uh, like a bass style. It's an eight weight. And, um, he, and it's, he says, cause, you know, and I, I got me some videos on it. I gotta, I'm gonna watch those. I'm gonna try to uh, hopefully learn how to do them and try to get some in before fall. But I, I really wanna try to do some smallmouth creek bass fishing. And this is saltwater stuff. And um, that, he's really been sending me way too much stuff. Like, I can't believe all the stuff that they have sent. And uh, I, I mean, I'm just hoping I can hopefully make some decent videos on it. It's hard for me to make videos really quickly about stuff I'm, you know, don't know much about. Oh. And then another, oh, okay, and some bass poppers. Okay, and these are um, some bass lures. Uh, a little popper there. A little, little bug looking thing there. So he sent me a bunch of like fly fishing stuff. Like I said, it's like an eight weight for like for bass and saltwater fishing. And um, I'm, I'm hoping I can hook up with some stuff. And it, it's, uh, I think it's only, uh, seven and a half foot i'll look at it just get ready to hopefully see some cool um i'll try to do some fly fishing bass fishing videos and um the setup looks really nice i mean it's definitely really nice stuff and um that makes it even more exciting so james uh, y'all been sending way too much thank you uh for you and your wife and uh you know just wanting to send me some stuff and hopefully i'll i'll make it up to you and, and have it on a video uh coming up Oh no, these are the books they said he was gonna send. The name doesn't have it on there. But uh, he, that's why he probably ordered them off Amazon. So, fly fishing for redfish. And this one here, fly fishing for smallmouth bass. I've kinda, like I, I'm not really a fly fisherman, but kind of fishing for smallmouth has really started to intrigue me a little more. Like fishing for trout, okay, that's all right. But fishing for smallmouth sounds a lot more fun or fishing for bass. Or maybe at a pond where you can uh, go and try some stuff. So, um, I'm, I got my study and, and my work cut out for me. And I'll, I will put my best effort into it for sure. So, um, I like books like that too. I, I'm a lot better at like just kind of browsing through them. I might go through them a few times and read them. And kind of look through them and get some ideas. But, um, I got a lot of stuff to work with. Okay, let's see here. That's all the things that I have right now. Now it's time for this big old box. I mean, you can probably imagine what's in here. Something that, a box that's seven foot long. We'll, uh, we'll open that one now. So this box right here, and this huge box right here, are from, I'll go ahead and tell you, they're from Luz. So, I have entered a partnership with Luz Fishing. Um, a lot of other YouTubers have done it, and they, um, you know, a lot of professional, or professional fishermen and stuff like that. Luz is a big company. You know, I've, I've always, I've used a bunch of loose stuff. They get great, you know, they have the, their Walmart deals. They, they, they kind of have a lot of different stuff for uh, different stores. You know, Walmart has their own ones. This place has their own ones. And they don't sell any from their own website. So, uh, Tyler, my buddy Tyler from Reed Angling, he, he, he was, we were talking one day and he told another guy about 
me and about getting you know trying to get some kind of partnership and um do it and he and you know then that guy contacted me about it and i was like well yeah um you know and, and i like the way it's set up and uh, i was like yeah i'll, I'll i would work with lose I, I would love to be able to um you know represent their stuff uh, obviously they're gonna give me stuff to use which is which i would use anyways and um, you know, represent it and kind of show it to you and stuff like that, and fish with it. Uh, so, if um, somebody wants to give me stuff to fish with, and I already like it, then I'm going to fish with it. If it was something I didn't like, which I'll have to test it out. If there's if there's stuff in here that I don't like, then you won't see me fishing with it. And um, but there is, I know there's a lot of stuff that I already like in here. So I uh, so they they said, all right, well, send a um, send what you want in an email and we'll ship it out to you well that was about two months ago so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting doing do the COVID everything's been backed up and I'm like I, I'm kind of like at the point like I don't know if it's ever gonna come here I mean and I talked to the guy and they're like yeah it's coming it's finally here so dude I, I'm I'm so excited um, I'm not showing this for to make people jealous or mad or be like yeah I did this this is something that's just going to allow me to do more. They're going to let me, they're going to give me stuff to use. And there's also a way that they're going to pay me for using their stuff, which is really going to open up me to be able to fish more places, travel more places. And um, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to oversell it or this or that, or, you know, try to tell, tell you the best thing in the world. I'm going to use it, give my own honest opinion about it dude and um hope you like it because this is awesome Ooh, it's the mock speed mock one speed stick bait caster yes i've never used a bait caster uh, and i got it on the left hand this is the last way i cast it on the right hand reel with my left hand so i can hold on to it um i don't know if i'll be getting to it right away but it's uh this is on a 610 medium heavy so i don't know I've never used one, but I figured this is a great time to try it out. And it's got it right there. So, baitcaster combo, the Mach 1 speed stick, medium heavy, 610. All right, this right here is a, uh, a another combo. Like, uh, I forget what this is called. I got I got to get it apart. It's the net. I mean, the loose speed cast. And um, let's see, it's on a 5.6 ultralight, a little ultralight rod. Oh, it feels good. That rod feels really good. But um, it comes. This is a little combo. It comes with this uh, lose reel. So, it's a little uh, speed spin combo. It's not something you're normally going to see from people that are ordering stuff. But I ordered several things that are like on the cheaper side, and just uh, I, I like these little these little reels like this. Um, I'll have to. It looks like it already comes with. Does it come with string on it? Uh, I'll take it apart. I won't mess with it right now. I will not break anything. But uh, that's a little ultralight combo. All right, this one here is one that I'm really excited about. This is one that I, I uh, saw and ordered exactly for what I do. It's a uh, medium light setup. Let me get that thing set. Let me get this rubber band off here. Ooh, this is nice. Oh man, this I don't remember which one this is. This is the Speed Spin HM30 spinning combo. It is a 6.6 medium light rod. That, that rod is really sensitive and a uh, speed spin 20 reel 62 to 1 gear ratio yeah this is this is a great creek style setup this feels really good oh yeah that's gonna be fun to fish with oh, oh that reel feels so good all right this right here is the wally marshall speed shooter it's a six foot light action rod let's go like a, this will be perfect for like a four pound line, like a crappie lure, just a you know small, almost ultra light style, but it's a six foot light action, uh, the Wally Marshall speed shooter rod. That's yeah, that's perfect for me. Oh wow, okay, what in the world? Oh, this is a. This, I remember now. I forgot I got this one. This is a brim stick, loose brim stick, telescopic. So the end, the real skinny line. Wow, so it's basically like an ultralight rod, but it's like, how long is this thing? 10 foot 3 light action. 
Um, I don't even know how to, I think you put a, the line right here and then through the very tip of it, it's got just a tiny little hole on the very tip of it. And um, that'll be interesting to play with. I, like I said, when I order stuff, or when I get stuff, I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna get things that are interesting. And I'm um, you know, looking for any kind of interesting to, thing to try that would have to do with what kind of fishing I do. And this one here is something more bass style. All right, this is a bait casting rod. It's a TP1 black speed stick. It's a 6.8 medium action. And uh, I think I, I think I ordered another reel. So I got at least two bait casting rods. One's medium heavy, and this is a medium. And I think it's super lightweight. So I, I'm gonna start trying to learn a little bit about that. And I'm sure there's gonna be a time where I want to know how to use a bait caster, and it's gonna come in handy. And the last rod that I ordered, six foot ultralight, the speed stick. So I got ultralight, light, medium light, on spinning stuff so I thought I ordered a medium on spinning I can't remember I guess I didn't but um, I got the medium medium heavy on the bait caster but this is this is exactly right in my wheelhouse so there's no re I mean you'll obviously see me fishing with these because this is the kind of stuff that I fish with and plus I'll be testing different ones out see how I like it Let's see which one is uh, you know which ones are, some I'll use more than others some are different um, let's go to the reels uh, this is probably the one I'm most excited about. I don't know. I'll have to get an. I, I, I don't know if I have another lose medium light rod. This would be great on a medium light rod. It actually might work on a light rod. It's a lose. Uh, which one is this? Lose Mach 1 Speed Spin 1000 size. And I, I love 1000, 2000 sizes. So lose Mach 1 Speed Spin 1000 size. I feel that'll get used a lot. It's a 62 to 1 gear ratio on it. This right here, this lose CS300. Oh, a, a spinning um, reel 300 size. This is the, which one is this? 62 to 1 gear ratio. The three CS300. I might have to order another, uh, like a heavy. I don't think I ordered a heavy, a medium heavy. Or a medium, actually. I need to get a medium heavy lose. I'll have to order one of those. I'll probably have to, I'll, you know, obviously probably have to pay for that one, but um, to, just to match it with this stuff. Here's another reel. It's a Mach 2, 200 size. Oh, wow, yeah. I'll, oh, I like that. Mach 2, uh, lose 200 size. I believe it's also 62 to 1 gear ratio. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get some good use out of these. This one right here is a, a WSP100 ultralight spinning reel, is what it says. Not sure why it's ultralight. It's a 1000 size. And um, let's see what the gear ratio on this one is. It's a 5 1 to 1 gear ratio. So, yeah, this, this is more of like, this I'll probably put on my, um, my ultralight rod. Oh, yeah, that feels pretty smooth right there. Put some. Two pound, maybe even like a two pound line on that. I got a speed sock or the, the what are they called? Socks for the reels. I've never used these, so I may have to use them to uh, keep from getting everything tangled up. What is this? What did I get here? Oh, we got a loose t-shirt. Well, that feels pretty good, actually. Make sure it's the right size. It says extra large. Hope it don't shrink up too much. You know, get a little gut here. There's a loose t-shirt. It's just a big bag. I think it's a, it feels like a rain jacket. So like a waterproof. I think that's what I remember now. I think it was just like a, a, a boat, like rain, rainproof bag. It's just like a utility bag. Just put a lot of stuff in there, but it, it's uh, it's definitely tough. It'll, it'll withstand some rain. All right, and one last box, and then I'm gonna wrap up a little bit about this, this partnership thing. A hat. Well, 
Now, I like hats. I ordered, these are fitted. They better fit me. If they don't fit, I ain't wearing it. I'm very picky about my hats. So, I'm not gonna force myself to wear a hat. Man, it's bright colored. You can definitely see that thing. Ooh, that one's way too big. I ain't got a really big head. That one, a little tight, but it might break in. And I ain't going no flat bill. I ain't doing that. I've gotta have it curved a little bit. So, all right, that's a couple, nice, that's a couple of hats. I'll give one to somebody else. Now let me wrap up everything that uh, that's going on here. I don't want people to get all, well, people are gonna get upset about everything. No matter what you do in life, somebody's too sensitive about something, especially in this world. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a video, or, uh, or here a while back, I did a video talking about NBA basketball. All I did was talk about it. Had several people, I don't like the NBA, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I'm like, do whatever you want. I didn't force, I didn't tell anybody to go watch the NBA or force anybody to do anything. So don't be so sensitive when things happen. When you see other YouTubers promoting something or showing something, you're just going to have to trust that they're going to be honest about it. If, if you don't trust that, then just don't watch them. If you don't trust that I'm honest about my opinions and things, then then you don't have. To, there's no point in watching, if that's what you're looking for. You know, I've been working. I have a couple other partnerships. I'm going to talk about that. I'll talk about that in a different video. Uh, actually, my year my year in review video, which um, if you have, if it hasn't been out yet, I'm not sure. Make sure you watch that. Um, and I'll talk about partnerships and all through that, but but that's just part of things that are going to happen. Y'all have given me this platform. All the people that are watching have been able to allow me to get stuff for free to fish with, to do more fishing, to put more videos out there. And um, there's, this out here is overwhelming. There, there's so much stuff here. Um, am I only going to fish with Lou's? Or do, am I locked in with them? No. I, I'll fish with whatever I want to fish with. If I want to fish with a stick over there uh, on a tree, I'll fish with that. If I'm fishing with a lose combo and that's what I need to use, that's the setup I knew, then I'm going to fish with it. Or if there's something coming up in here, I obviously got some fly rods that I'm going to be using. Um, I got a cane pole that I want to do a video on. And the bug's getting loud. I've, uh, I've got, I, you know, I still have several other uh, rods that I like to use. Now, what I'm going to be able to do now is give some of those things away to some, I know some kids and stuff that I, I fish with, and you, you've probably seen on my videos. I'm going to try to give some of those away, the ones that I don't need. Uh, I'm going to keep some of them, some of the stuff I like using. Uh, I got some other people I, I'm doing certain things with. So I'm not locked in to lose, but they reached out to me, offered me this opportunity to use them, and they're going to pay me some money in, to use them in videos. And they give it, all they gave me this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use them. And you know, I know a lot of people will might get upset, or or if you hear you talk to other people, you hear things like, oh, they've they've sold out. They they're now you know being sponsored by this people or that being sponsored by those people. It shouldn't change the way they are. There should be the same type of video. Uh, I'm not gonna you know try to work all this stuff in. I'm not gonna use these reels just to get money or just to advertise. I'm gonna use them because that's what I would use. You know, I'm gonna pick up a rod and reel and use it. And if it's if I find something I don't like, actually there was there was a catfish rod that I ordered and didn't come in, so I don't know. I might have to order one of those. It may, may, may be out of order, but if there's something here and I'm like I just don't like this rod, then I won't be using it. You know, I'll give it away or I'll it'll just be sitting around somewhere. But uh, I'm sure a lot of these uh, I can't wait to test them out and try them out. And if you end up if like if I like it, then I'll tell you about it. You know, and if you end up going buying it, you know then that's great because I, I like it. It ain't, I'm gonna try to tell you that I like something that I don't like, so. So what I guess I'm just trying to say is I've been blessed to be able to, able to get to this opportunity, 67, 68,000 subscribers, been able to get now get a partnership with Lou's that I've, I've already had some other partnerships, some other people, and you've, you've seen those things. And um, hopefully this will just kind of keep me fishing, keep me going and um, just allow, allow me to have more fun and enjoy what I'm doing. So thanks for watching. So if you're, if you, I know a lot of YouTubers are watching these things and they're like, oh, if I could just get this, or if I could just do this, just just work at what you're doing. Um, I, I never reached out, I, all the people that have sent me things, I've never reached out and like, hey, can I get that, I'll advertise. Hey, can I get that, I'll advertise. Everyone has just, that has come to me as just, I let my channel, I guess, do the talking and just growing. And then the more you grow, the more you meet people, the more those people uh, know other people and just things can start happening. And this right here could be a life changing in my to my YouTube channel and to my life. 
as far as just kind of growing it and doing more things. I, I don't know what the next step is, but uh, I mean, I, I, I thank the Lord that he blessed me to be able to, to have this, to be able to make these videos, uh, to give me the stuff to fish with, give me the ability to fish with, the fish and things. So uh, I'm just going to keep enjoying it and um, just be grateful for everything I got. Thanks so much for watching. Um, any more updates come to my channel, uh, I'll let you know about it. And if you haven't watched my video, if I haven't made it yet, I don't know. But if you haven't watched my video where I do my year-end review, I'm going to talk all about partnerships and sponsorships, things like that. Try to explain that a little bit more. But uh, this is pretty cool. So thanks so much for watching.